Next question is from Lore Pat. Do macro split ratios matter? If so, how do I adjust my macros to fit what's right for me? Does he mean like a percentage of protein, percentage of carbs, percentage of that's fat? That's what it sounds like. Yeah, it sounds like that. That's what it sounds like. The, you know, we, didn't we just talk about this recently? Where we, we, I think we addressed this where we said that you know protein is the main one, right? Uh, the yeah, for most people, right? Yeah, the percentage of that matters the most, right? Like Exactly. There's always exceptions to the rule if you have some sort of issue with carbohydrates or certain types of foods. But uh, if you are hitting your protein intake, so whatever percentage of your calories uh, is is enough for you to hit whatever you know said grams of protein. Like for example, two hundred grams is mine. So, however, what percentage that is of how many total calories that should stay consistent. Then the other two you can manipulate and play with, and I encourage that. I think it's a good idea to try a higher carb. Uh, intake a higher percentage for a while, see how your body responds, how your workouts are, how you like it, yep. then go to a, a higher fat and lower carb type of a diet and something in the middle. I think I, I think with clients, I love to teach uh, that all different ways so they can give me the feedback on what they notice. Well, I like that as like the first introduction, especially as the focus on acquiring protein in your diet if it's something that uh, you don't really see as a coach like uh, that they're getting enough of it because this is a, a you know essential macronutrient that and fat and so a lot of times if you get it from an animal source you're going to get the combo of both uh, and you know to then manipulate your carbohydrates based off of you know how you feel energy levels and like uh, where you're at in terms of body fat and all that kind of stuff uh, and then start to get more serious in terms of like figuring out the percentages and like you know really get into it uh, as you progress uh, with your with your training and your nutrition, yeah, I, I, you know, um, I think with macros, it's it, it's important to understand that two of the three macros are essential. In other words, you have to eat a certain amount of protein to thrive, and you have to eat a certain amount of fat to thrive. Uh, carbohydrates are not essential. What that means is you can eat zero carbs, and your 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 body's still going to have everything it needs to function and to, and to live. That doesn't mean it's optimal. It just means you don't need to eat carbohydrates. So carbohydrates tend to be the one that people will fluctuate and work with the most. And you tend to trade that with fat so long as your fat intake doesn't go below essential. And then, you know, what you said, Adam, about protein, again, there's always individual variances, but the but generally speaking, studies show high protein is better for building muscle, burning body fat, satiety. So it's one of those macronutrients you want to keep consistent. But this is really different from person to person. Um, I personally do better with a moderate to lower carbohydrate intake. I perform better. I feel better. Higher carbohydrates don't tend to work for me very well. But I do know people where that's the opposite, where they eat more carbs and less fats and they feel really good. I do recommend you go through cycles of, of each one to see how it affects your body and how you feel. Um, I think the only way to really know is kind of move through it, test it out, become aware of the feelings like, okay, if I eat carbs, oh, I got better workouts, but I notice some digestive issues or my fat intake is too high. Um, I just feel lethargic. Some people feel lethargic from too much fat intake. So that's really the big, uh, the big thing. And then of course, overall calories, right? If your calories are right, that'll help with the gaining or losing of weight. That has, that, that has to be a part of the formula. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here, or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.